Previously on the Inges Channel. Looks pretty cool though. Oh frick. Oh yeah, there we go. Easy. That's what I get for buying the cheapest thing on Amazon. Take two on the electric unicycle. Time to unbox it. This is the replacement unit. A lot of you guys remember that the first one I bought from Amazon broke within the first like five minutes of using it. This time I'll try not to uh, ride it over potholes for the very first ride, <laughs> so. She needs to learn how to rev cars, oh my goodness. I need to teach you how to rev cars. It doesn't sound powerful when you do it, Foo. How's work today? Anyway, so let's get this unboxed. Maybe this time I don't start in potholes, like running over potholes at low speed. That might help it out. <laughs> so we'll probably actually just end up riding it on the concrete. The easy thing about these is you, when you crash, you can just step off it, you know? It's not that hard. All right, let's get it unboxed. Yeah, this one doesn't have a fuse either. All right, so here it is. This is a white one. This is apparently the only one he had in stock. The seller, by the way, was decently responsive. Of course, he asked me the really stupid questions right off the bat, like, was, was it charged when you got it? And like, did you push the power button when you tried to turn it on? Like, I did, yes. Thank you for that. So for the first like three questions he asked me, it was like the dumbest, most obvious things. I'm like, yes, I tried all that. But he ended up replacing it and here it is. It was like, a couple weeks later. I think it took like two weeks, two or three weeks or so to get this replacement one. So not short time. I mean, it wasn't an Amazon Prime deal, so it wasn't a short time but it showed up, so there we go. So I'm just gonna get this charged up. So far, it's been a very fun learning experience with these one wheels, and we'll just go from there. All right, looks like it is charged. So let's get this unplugged, let's pair it to the King Song app, and uh, unlock the wheel with the app, and then let's take it for a ride. And with that, I'm gonna delete the app because it has a lot of permissions I don't trust China with. I'm actually really digging the white. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna just go over here and test it out. Not too bad once you get a hang of it. Dude, that was like my first couple tries on cement, on a smooth surface. It's not even that hard. That was actually pretty fun. <laughs> I've actually really enjoyed this. That was good. So let's give it a, let's give it a little bit longer of a drive here. I'm gonna just take you guys out to the street, I think.
overall though, I do like this one better than the black one. The white just looks really clean in my opinion. I think it looks more modern. Something you'd probably see on Oblivion, the movie with Tom Cruise, you know that one? All those drones and stuff, looks just like it. I think for, I think for the price, it's pretty cool. I have no experience with it on an extended range test or extended use or anything, so I couldn't tell you how long it actually lasts on normal use. First one broke in five minutes, so there's that. <laughs> I also did note that there is no fuse in this one either. The fuse lot that traditionally has a fuse in it does not have a fuse, just like the last one. So it must be internal. It must be too small of a system to justify an external fuse as well. So it's probably just internal where it's at. And when the last one broke, I shipped it back to the repair place who probably just opened the case up, changed the fuse, and it was good to go. Well, so far I'm having a great time. I mean, this is a lot of fun. And I will say it's so much easier on pavement. When I started in like the potholes before and like on the grass and stuff, it was so hard to get a feel for the actual ride. This, I pretty much jumped on this first time on the pavement and I pretty much just rode it up and down the sidewalk. Like it's not that hard. It's really not that hard. And it's on right now. This is a King Song 14D. And when I posted that first video, a lot of people were saying that King Song is a really good brand. So they were surprised the first one died so fast. But again, it's probably because I was riding in wet grass with a bunch of potholes in it. <laughs> it's a really smooth little electric unicycle. I will say though, the first time riding it here on the concrete and whatnot, I'm already realizing these probably aren't for me because like I gotta mitigate my risk. I gotta be as safe as possible. I, I do a lot of different stuff. And so if I get injured, I won't be able to go to meetings tomorrow. <laughs> so that's kinda, that's kinda why I prefer e-bikes and stuff that, you know, if something goes wrong, you probably won't wipe out and tear your whole face off. But this thing, <laughs> if you wipe out, and there have been a lot of people on the forums saying, well, not a lot of people, I won't say a lot of people, but there have been some people on the forums for these electric unicycles that were like, yeah, my unicycle, I was going at like 20 miles per hour and it just cut off and I face planted down a hill. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that doesn't sound fun. I will try to avoid that actively. So as fun as this is, I actually did buy this though because my dad was super into these. So this whole testing of the unicycle kind of thing was uh, kind of, just geared for my dad because I wanted to give it to him at the end. I'm kind of, because he had seen one when he was traveling and it was one of the bigger models. I can't remember what, what model it was, but it was a really nice one. It had a huge tire, the suspension on it and everything. And back in the day, my dad had actually wanted to learn how to unicycle. It's one of those things he wanted to do. Um, for like ever and so when he saw an electric unicycle is something that really sparked his interest And so he he brought it up to me because I'm kind of the electric guy of the family I got like e-boards e-bikes e-motorcycles I'm like the e-guy of the family and so he told me that he saw one of those and they're actually super cool I was actually kind of interested in them as well I actually had seen a couple of them online already and it's kind of my thing to do like the cheapest of Amazon products kind of stuff So I figured I'd pull the trigger on this one and at the very end I'll just give it to him. He he wanted to Learn. So I think that's kind of fair. So after I end this video here, I think I'm just gonna roll out there and just give it to him. Looks like I'm getting something else. I don't know if that's for me or if it's not, but we'll see. I already decided these are probably not for me. I just gotta be as safe as possible. I have a lot going on at all times and if I get injured, it would affect other parts of my life. So I try to stick with stuff that's a little bit safer, you know, e-bikes and stuff. Like if something goes wrong, you're usually not gonna wipe out face first down a hill. <laughs> Uh, but these things, I mean, obviously you will. If it cuts out and some people said the power cuts out, you just go bam, <laughs> just down on your face you go. So that's, that's probably just not a good thing for my life to have that risk. <laughs> And I know this video was super lame. All I did was take it up the street a couple times, but but I really was doing this because I wanted to get a feel for how it felt to ride an electric unicycle, and I did experience that, and that's pretty much all I wanted. Um, and from last video, you guys were asking to see, you know, how the seller handled it and all kinds of stuff from Amazon. So there you go. There you go. The seller handled it. It took a little bit of time, and I will say it's probably not the best quality of, of handlemanship. Just because I can tell this electric unicycle was also used, it came straight from the repair shop that I had to send mine to. So I'm assuming uh, another customer, his broke, had the same defect or fault that mine had originally. And so I had to ship it to them. So probably another customer returned it and they shipped it straight to the repair shop as well. And then that guy, when that one was repaired of the other person's repair, sent it straight back to me. So I got a used unicycle you know, as a replacement for my new one. And the grip tape was kind of coming off it on the little footrest there. And uh, so I wouldn't recommend buying this on Amazon. I wouldn't recommend the seller just because it's, it. I can tell it's a thrown together organization that he's just, just in it for the money. He didn't, I could tell he didn't really want me to return it. And I get why, but even so, come on. So I'm gonna go take it to my dad, see how he likes it, let him have it, you know, 
Hopefully it doesn't break on him. <laughs> but if it does, I will be even more in contact with the seller this time. <laughs> Overall, the experience was a great time. I think my dad's gonna love it. And it seemed like a lot of you guys do the one wheel thing too. So I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. So last thing before we go, if you guys got unsubscribed or unnotified from my channel, cause I personally got unnotified from Kurt's channel. He has a new channel, Lord Kurt. And I subscribed, I notified myself of all notifications and he posted his first video and I didn't get notified. So I had to actually go back on his channel and re-notify myself and I know a lot of you guys, same thing happened to you guys. My views on each video have dropped considerably over the last few months. Uh, it's not because my subscribers aren't, well, it's because my subscribers aren't watching, but it's not because they don't want to watch, it's because they're not getting notified. <laughs> I've been so many people telling me that. So make sure you guys are notified. It's something you probably wouldn't check unless I told you. And smash that like button. So with all that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. If it's night, good night. <laughs> uh, but I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.